What's up guys, welcome back to the Educated Bar for Life. Today we're gonna to be doing a Japanese inspired gimlet from Dale DeGroff called the Yuzu Gimlet. All right, let's get into it. So first thing we're gonna do is half an ounce of lime juice, and then a quarter of an ounce of Yuzu juice. There's a Japanese citrus fruit. And then we're gonna do one ounce of uh, Dale DeGroff's own triple syrup. So triple syrup is a blend of simple syrup, agave, and honey uh, that kind of gives a more complex flavor to sours. We're doing one ounce, and then we're gonna do an ounce and a half here. Drop the cap on the floor. Ounce and a half of Bombay Sapphire. You know, a lot of people ask me why I don't use Bombay Sapphire that much, and uh, I don't know, I have it and I do like it, so I'm using it now. We're gonna throw some ice in our tin. Give it a nice hard shake. I was thinking about doing a metal shake, but then the last time I did a metal shake, Marius didn't put the music to it, even though people recognized it for what it was. Marius didn't recognize it for what it was though, which is interesting. And then we're gonna do a nice double strain into our coupe. And I'm gonna garnish it, I'm gonna show you this garnish, but I'm not gonna garnish it just yet, so I'm gonna taste it first, but I'm gonna garnish it with this uh, shiso leaf, and then a very, 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 very thin sliced lime that I used a mandolin, a very sharp mandolin to make. And if you're using a mandolin, just either wear uh, you know, cut-proof gloves or just be very careful, because they are dangerous. All right, let's kick a sip. Oh, fantastic. This is what I love about this is that Dale DeGroff is such a master at making cocktails that he knew that the that the the citrus, right, this yuzu is really 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 tart and since he did a 3 quarters of an ounce of it, but this is a much more tart than lime is that he knew that he would invert it and instead of doing 1 ounce of citrus and 3 quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, which is what you'd find in a daiquiri, he actually inverted it so it would be one ounce of his triple syrup plus three quarters of an ounce of citrus because the citrus is so tart. Uh, it goes really, really great with the botanicals and the Bombay Sapphire. It's really nice, nice, bright, and fresh. You taste the lime juice right off the bat. The yuzu kind of brings in that nice kind of citric kick. And then what's great is that the triple syrup brings in this very, very kind of complex flavor profile. So the triple syrup was created by Dale DeGroff because he wanted something that was more interesting than just simple syrup, which he felt left sours kind of flat, but he didn't want to use honey too much because honey is so flavorful that the that when it's in cocktails in any, you know, substantial amount like 3 quarters of an ounce or something or even half an ounce, the cocktail comes all becomes all about what the honey tastes like. So, he created the syrup that would sort of have the sharpness of the sugar and the and that like savory sweetness of the honey and then that warmth that the agave kind of brings in and it makes a, a great syrup. It really does lend a very kind of complex flavor profile to cocktails. It really balances out the citrus really nicely and then it has that nice kind of warmth but also the sharpness of the sugar. It's really, really great. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, let's garnish our cocktail real quick. Here, sorry. I'm gonna clip it to the side like that. See if I can't. Ooh, does that look nice? Yeah, that looks nice, right? Yeah. Scale of one to 10 garnish game. Six. What? Just a six? Man, you're a tough audience. Oh, I like that. I like that. It's nice. Uh, I gotta sip it again because it's so darn good. And I really like that triple syrup. It's really nice. Uh, so, Dale DeGroff just came out with a new book. Uh, called The New Craft of the Cocktail. This is his follow-up to The Craft of the Cocktail. And I think you guys should go and get it. I've been fielding a lot of questions in the comments lately about what books beginners should buy. I buy. I've gotten a bunch of uh, Instagram messages about it as well. And I usually say Jeffrey Morgenthaler's The Bar Book is a really good place to start because it talks about technique and it talks about tools and stuff. But I'm gonna add The New Craft of the Cocktail to it. I just got my um, copy this week and I gotta tell you that what I love about it is that there's about 60 pages in the front that have not just all the distillation techniques and everything you kind of need to know about each individual spirit that you'll be using, but it also has cocktail history and everything is broken down into nice, concise, 
articles, just short, you know, kind of a couple of paragraph articles. It breaks it down really, really nicely. All of the information is organized beautifully and it has 400 recipes in it. And you know that those 400 recipes are gonna be fire because it was created by Dale DeGroff, which is the godfather of the modern cocktail movement or the second golden age, as some people call it. All right, guys, there it is, the Yuzu Gimlet. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon. I actually kind of gussied up our Patreon and put some extra stuff on there, which I think you might like. We've got YouTube memberships. If you guys wanna have a cool emoji and some other, uh, other uh, videos that we put on there and then check out our Teespring, uh, follow us on all the socials and please hit like and subscribe if you like this video. It really helps us out and hit the bell icon so you get notified. I'll see you guys on another time.